Okay, for those who have been watching my channel, I've just got the uh, Elgato Cam Link in and um, got another purchase uh, just came in, uh, the Elgato green screen. So you can see there I've got the uh, uh, Cam Link down the bottom and the green screen up the top. It's really well made. I've got it right behind me and I'm just going to show you a little bit on how it works. So it's very simple. You just um, basically pull it up. I've got it actually just below camera level now. And uh, I've actually got my uh, my road, little road um, wireless go running as well so uh, as I turn around and I'm, we're not dropping audio so here we go so you just I can just lift it up just like that one-handed don't even have to get out of the chair and there we go it's all set up uh, I'll get rid of this browser uh, so let's have a look how it works I'll switch over to the uh, green screen setting as we'll put the um, there we go and as you can see I've got uh, Peter Sagan in the background there so let's look at some settings. I'll put the uh, monitor display on here for a minute. Uh, so I've got the Elgato 4K cam there, as you can see. And I'll right click it, go to filters. So this is how you set it all up. And I'll just move this over here so you can see it a bit better. Go to uh, green, you see, add a filter, you put green chroma key, I called it. Uh, it's under chroma key filters here. You can see here chroma key. All right, so I set mine up and call it green chroma key. So you've got all these ones called light similarity. I've got it set at 462 and I'll just move the slider so you can see what happens there. So that's basically it's picking the color that's most similar. And uh, so as you, as you increase it, your background will disappear there. You can see there, see there on the one on the left, as, you, as you're doing it, the uh, there's a little bit, a little bit more grey. So you're aiming to make it as as even as possible. So I had it at 462. So I'll just bump this up. 462. You can go one by one there. Uh, smoothness. Uh, I've got it set at 32. And as you can see here, see I've just appeared as I move it up, <laughs> moving up more. So that's sort of that's just sort of to fine tune it in. I had it set at 32. So I'll put that down to 32 again. Uh, color spill reduction, uh, as the name suggests, it's to get rid of the green tint that can come on your face a little bit. So I've got it set at 100. You can see here, as you as you increase the color spill, it, the saturation decreases because you're sort of washing it. You're sort of getting rid of the green. That's where it started at. You can still see a little bit of a green tinge in the back of the chair there. So I had it set at 100. Um, you can play around with it yourself and see what see what uh, value works for you opacity that's just <laughs> ghost man contrast self-explanatory uh, brightness so you can sort of fiddle around with these and what i found is once once you do a little bit of the uh, spill reduction you've got to create like a i created like a filter called color correction which i'll click on now it actually boosts the saturation up a little bit uh, i've got it at 0.2 so you can sort of see here at zero, it looks a little bit washed out. So I've got a 0.2, that brings a little bit of saturation. So you're sort of balancing, balancing this, uh, this spill reduction with the saturation and getting it, getting it spot on. And, and that's looking pretty good. I'm really impressed with this setup, especially the Elgato green screen. That's, that's been really, really good. So we'll close this up and we'll get back and I'll select a media source. We'll actually we'll get the get that off. So we've got a cigar in there. And let's go back here. So you actually select a media source here and double click on it. I'll move it over here. And I've actually created a few in a little folder. So I'll just hit browse. Oops, where are we? Let's go back again. Alright. Go back. Let's go back, browse. Comes up. Here we go. I've got them green screen backgrounds. I've got a uh, little folder there. Uh, so these ones are free. I've got um, a couple of nebula ones. I want to do some sort of space, space stuff. So this is a nebula one, and I'll click OK. And I'll get this off, and you can see the background nebula one there. Now, as you can see on the back of the chair there, you get a little bit of a little bit of fuzziness, but that's really a product of you know you never use stripes or or you know, because um, the D800E's got a bit of a Moira effect, so it's sort of picking it up a little bit there. 
but uh, overall it's looking, it's looking pretty decent. It's looking a lot better than when I was just using the uh, QDSLR dashboard, that's for sure. So we'll just change, we'll change the media source. I've got um, another one here I quite like. Uh, it's called Free Space Particles. So I want to do a few like cosmology videos, as you can see there. Floating through space, you can imagine the Carl Sagan Cosmos music in the background. The other one that goes do 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 like Vangelis. <laughs> I've got that in my head right now, so that's pretty cool. So as you can see, it's, it's working, working really well. Um, I've also got like a library background I can put in here as well. Uh, let's move this up. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, move that one up. There we go. <laughs> a little library background in the middle there, so let's move it down a bit. Oh, no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ruin it a bit. You can always get rid of. Oh, let's scale it. Let's scale it up. There you go. John's in the library. So you can sort of play around with the setting, the uh, positioning here, and make it look a bit more realistic. <laughs> I'm sitting in the library now. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we get the media source back up. Above. So there we go. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's nice and sharp. Uh, it's keying in quite well. I've, I was playing around a little bit with Final Cut Pro, and um, I must admit, it's, it's a lot more settings in Final Cut Pro. It, um, it might do a better job than OBS, but at the moment, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the OBS how it's, how it's working. So I'll uh, keep OBS for my green screen for now while I learn the uh, intricate details in Final Cut Pro. And uh, yeah, that will work quite well. So um, yeah, quite like that background. That's pretty cool. So um, there we go, guys. Uh, I totally recommend, totally, totally recommend the Elgato green screen. It is really well made. It weighs about, um, it weighs about 10 kilos because it, it was quite hefty when I was carrying it. And it's just nicely made, the, the back supports and everything. As you can see on, on here, the back supports are really good and just so smooth, like, look at this, I'll just, one finger, I'll just bring it down much. Right. Nice smooth mechanism, and then just one finger back up. And it's just really smooth, really, really smooth. And you'll see, in, you know, everyone does videos on these, you'll see how, how good it is, the, uh, and the material is quite nice, it's like a, uh, it's almost like a polyester, polyester and it's, it does it really really smooth the material too now I could improve the lighting on this definitely definitely you can improve the lighting you can see on the edges there on that edge it's a bit dark Whoop, anyway, that edge <laughs> that edge there's a bit dark because it's further away from the light so you can you could light it from both sides and you know, it's casting a bit of a shadow there you can see but um, yeah, once you light this perfectly, it'll probably go up a little bit of a notch too. So um, yeah, but I'm quite happy. With, like that's that's doing quite a good, quite a good key right there. Yeah, it's, yeah, there's nothing complaining about that. It's quite good. And uh, I'll just change the media source again to something that shows it a bit better. We'll go back to the cigar one. Yeah, you can see there it's keying quite well. The edges are quite sharp. Not too much uh, fuzziness there. It's really popping out. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite liking that. There we go. There you go, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.